Let's divide the skull into four regions associated with major centers of ossification, from anterior to posterior. These regions are the ethmoid, the orbital, the auric, and the basicranium. Beginning with the ethmoid region, this is the vomer, forming the roof of the palate in its anterior part. The vomer is covered dorsally by the ethmoid and articulates firmly with the parasphenoid. So here is the parasphenoid. Next is the ethmoid. It is the median bone of perichondral origin formed in the nasal septum between two nasal capsules. This is the nasal capsule and you have the ethmoid in between. You have one and two. Here you have left and right nasal capsules and you have the ethmoid there. This is the lateral ethmoid or par ethmoids form the posterior lateral wall of the ethmoid region and the anterior wall of the orbit. We're done with the ethmoid region. Next is the orbital region. This orbitosphenoid is a median or paired bone formed in the septum that separates both orbits. It forms part of the floor and walls of the cranial cavity. It articulates with the lateral ethmoid in front and posteriorly with the pterosphenoid. Pterosphenoid is a paired bone located in the posterior part of the orbitosphenoid region. Basisphenoid is a median bone that forms part of the floor of the neurocranium. It takes the shape of the letter Y, the wings of which surround the pituitary gland. Frontal occupies part of the ethmoidal, orbitosphenoid, and otic regions. They meet along the middle line, sometimes fusing with the lateral ethmoids, and posteriorly they meet with the parietals. The parietals are a laminar dermal paired bone that covers the otic region in bony tissues. Let's go to the basicranial region. The parasphenoid extends from the vomer in the ethmoidal region to the basiocipital in the occipital region. Paired lateral exocipitals form the sides of the foramen magnum which is the passageway for the spinal cord. The foramen magnum is the largest of the cranial foramina. It is located in the occipital region of the skull. Through this foramen, the spinal cord emerges from the skull. It is formed in most cases by four bones, the supraoccipital dorsally, the two exocipitals on each side, Ventrally, the basic occipital. The supraoccipital forms the upper rim of the foramen magnum. The dorsal median supraoccipital bone usually bears a posteriorly directed supraoccipital crest that varies among teleosts from a slight ridge to a prominent crest. The median basic occipital is the most posterior ventral neurocranial and articulates with the first vertebra. Lastly, we have the otic region. These are paired sphenotics that form the most posterior dorsolateral part of the orbit roof. Next are the paired pterotics, which form the posterior outer corners of the neurocranium enclose the horizontal semicircular canal. Paired prootics form the floor of the neurocranium and enclose the utriculus of the inner ear. Paired epiotics, more recently called epioxebrals, lie posterior to the parietals and lateral 
to the supraoccipital and contain the posterior vertical semicircular canal. The median process of the post-temporal, by which the pectoral girdle is attached to the posterior region of the skull, attaches to the epiotics. The epiotics enclose part of the posterior semicircular canal. Paired intercalars or opisthotics fit between the terotics and exocipitals and articulate with the lateral process of the post temporal. There is only one pair of entirely dermal bones in the otic region. The paired parietals, which roof part of the otic region, and articulate with the frontals anteriorly, and the supraoccipital medially, and the epiotics posteriorly. Let's identify this is the basiocipital, the exocipital, the foramen magnum, the supraoccipital crest, the intercalar, post temporal. Parasphenoid, and we have here the sphenotics, paired terotics, the frontal, the parietal, the epiotics, the supraoccipital, prootics, the pterosphenoid or sphenoid, lateral ethmoid, orbit, basisphenoid, the vomer, and the ethmoid. And we have here attached pre-maxilla and maxilla. That's all. I hope you learned something.